All right, welcome back. And uh, we are very privileged to have Lisa Schilling on the phone with us now. And you, you know her from the South Louisiana Human Resources Authority, South Central. I, I'm brain dead, folks, so bear with me. But uh, anyway, anyway, uh, Lisa, it's good to have you here, and we appreciate it. And uh, I, I think you're bringing us some good news. You're getting more things fired up, aren't you? Oh my goodness, we have some really great news, Martin, and a lot of people that helped us make it happen. Today, our clinic in uh, Morgan City, St. Mary Behavioral Health Center is open. Um, that's on 500 Roger Street. And um, we're offering services from 9A to 2P, so kind of an abbreviated schedule. But um, we have all of our staff uh, available there, all of our providers, our psychiatrists, nurse practitioners, we have our primary care along with behavioral health staff are in there. And so we're trying to see crisis and walk-ins and check up on those patients that we know um, we just had a really hard time with what has happened to us in the past week and a half. And um, doing assessments, medication refills, um, also, you know, um, injections for our, some of our people that are on long acting injections and trying to also follow up with our, uh, our MAT patients, so those that are on Vivitron suboxone. You know, we talked last time about how important it is to, to keep people on their meds and that when you, some meds, when you get off of them, they say to do it slowly, but if you don't have it, it's an abrupt, uh, it's an abrupt like jumping off a cliff kind of thing. So uh, that's very important, but I, I'm, I'm not shocked because I know Louisiana, but things are moving pretty quick. That's very encouraging. Oh, it's, oh, it's amazing. Um, the, other, the other good news that we have is that our clinic here in Homa will be opening up tomorrow. And we owe a debt of gratitude to the Army Corps engineers who came out on Saturday night at 11 o'clock <laughs> and uh, went ahead and put that generator in for us. And I'm pretty sure that Parish President Doug and our EOC had something to do with that. So thank you to them. And um, we were able to get our, our staff in there and get everything checked out. And so they will be offering the same type of services as St. Mary. Um, starting tomorrow, abbreviated schedule of 9 to 2 p And um, we have our staff there available to uh, see everyone. So once again, mental health addictions and primary care services will be provided. And, and I must say, I, I know you uh, have department heads in, in your line of work, but that all goes up to the governor, and the governor deploys a lot of resources down there. So I, I think we would be remiss if we didn't thank everybody all the way up to the governor for what they've done. Uh, well, look, I have an amazing uh, executive team. Uh, they're all spread out. We're all doing what we can to make sure that we can get these services in place. Um, and then our staff are boots on the ground, but you're right. Um, the governor's office and the Louisiana Department of Health have been very instrumental in helping us get back online. Yeah, what are you uh, of sense as far as, I mean, uh, or the, all the workers, I mean, most people, and I, I don't say they lose track of their workers, but sometimes communications go down, you don't know where they are, but then all of a sudden the lines come up and everybody's checking in and all that. So I'm, I'm sure the, the feedback from all of your workers, some of these people are ready to get back to work, aren't they? Yes, sir. We uh, started on Tuesday trying to locate all of our staff and and see how they were. We probably have about 45 to 50 that their homes are uninhabitable and they're living with family members or, or out of state. And so we encourage them to take all the time they need to get their self back together. And then a lot of our staff that are, are still in the area and uh, have been more blessed are, are ready to go. Cause that's how we are in South Louisiana. We wanna get back to work and do what we can for people that are suffering. So you're right. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, some people that, that just, and I'm around a lot of those kind of people. If they don't have something to do, uh, they get nervous. You're more nervous because you don't have something to do. But let me ask you this, as we're, we're talking to the public now, and I know a lot of you, your stuff is driven by, you know, licensed people who are very skilled in what they do or in medicines and that type of thing. But is there anything you need that you have not received yet that we could help with? Yeah. I really need help 
<laughs> from the governor's office in FEMA, and I've, I've had this conversation about six or seven times, to get a generator for my clinic in the plot. It fared very well. We sit right behind the Paris government complex there on Airline Highway, and um, we are removing a, a tree that kind of fell on it. Didn't didn't hurt the building, but if I could get a generator, I could see patients. And let me tell you what: the people in the plot and the surrounding area need all the help they can get. It. What What do you need? You know the uh, KW. I would need probably a hundred KW. Okay, hundred KW. And a, okay, so we're making a plea. Anybody who has a hundred KW because we're reaching out uh, people on Facebook and YouTube outside of Louisiana that can uh, yes, that can get us a 100 kW generator please uh, call us here at the station I'm gonna give you a number 876 3456 876 3456 and uh, Lisa will put the plea out and see if somebody's got a hundred kW sitting around it they're not using love that and we'll take very good care of it we can you know um we just need that to, to be able to fire up the building so that would be awesome I, I would be remiss if i didn't mention our developmental disability services as well you know we take care of a lot of individuals that need um, a lot of assistance um, for care and in their home and so our staff has been checking on all of our waiver patients also with our support coordination agencies to provide the care in the homes and to those individuals and we're also making sure that the checks that we provide on monthly for assistance in the house or individual family sort support and flexible family funds are going out so we are taking care of them in the midst of the storm so to speak all right well lisa we appreciate it we thank you for joining us and jay let's put up that graphic as we leave uh the folks and Lisa Schilling doing a great job getting everything there. You see it right there. And, uh, and she had some good news for us. Lisa, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Martin. I appreciate it. All right. Okay, we'll take a short break. We'll be back with more. Don't go away.